Students joined in a soccer schools event in Seoul and the trio played their part in some rather unusual games. Yeah, it was good. It's um, obviously good to try and um, help younger kids develop as, um, as a player and you know, I enjoy doing things like this and um, apart from it was a bit hot, I was, I was sweating a lot out there but it was, it was really good. I, mean, I enjoyed it. Certainly seem to be enjoying yourself out there and uh, I suppose good fun to do different exercises like that and, and help the kids develop doing different things like that. Yeah, definitely, of course. You know, um, you see uh, the people over here and especially the kids, they get really excited when um, when United come over here and it's it's good to, to speak to a few of them and, you know, try and um, just try and help them develop, really, and give them a few tips. Two-thirds of Koreans regularly watch Premiership football and United are by far the most popular team. So what could be better than learning how to improve your favourite game from some of your favourite players? And everyone seemed to enjoy themselves. Yeah, it was good. I've done stuff like that before, but um, it's a bit different when you come to Asia and the kids are a lot more excited because it's not very often they get to see Manchester United players. But you know, I think it went well and I thought the, the soccer school coaches handled it very well. Is that the kind of thing you've been doing when you were growing up playing football as well? Um, I don't... I didn't really get the opportunity to meet professionals, like um, you know, especially people like Wayne Rooney and that. You know, I'm still admiring them, you know, um, as players and that. But um, you know, something that I think as a kid, you know, you take up with you for the rest of your life. And it's certainly an experience these youngsters won't forget in a hurry. And as the games start to come thick and fast for the players, the fans will be hoping to see plenty more of this over the next few months. Well, they certainly were a great experience for those kids out there. It seems like really enjoyed himself. Yeah, I mean, it's it's nice that um, you know these, these young lad, these young kids see that the heroes on the TV, but they might never get a chance to see the likes of Wayne Rooney and Hargreaves and, and Johnny Evans. Um, you know, the, I mean, the soccer schools are fantastic as well. It's it's great for it's, it's just fantastic for the kids, and it's nice that the players will take time time out to do, you know, that sort of thing. This was on a Tuesday, they, they visited a school for the blind and there was actually some great footage of uh, Rooney playing himself with the blindfold on, oh, trying right. to do some keepy-uppies and uh, yeah. he was dreadful. Well, was he struggling with it? <laughs> it's quite interesting, you know, seeing these... You know, these sure he won't mind blind. me saying that. <laughs> no, I'm sure he won't. <laughs> but uh, it is great and it's important on the tours like this that they get out and about in the community, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it does raise the profile of the club as well and, and like I said before, most of these people will never get a chance to see the heroes of, of Wayne Rooney and, and, and the rest of the squad. So it's it, it's good in that respect and it's good for the players to, you know, see how different people live and different cultures and everything else. It's it's fantastic and it's something that you remember all your life. And I go back to the, the tour in Thailand and Japan. Mm. I still remember 